Alright, this is a short lesson on pressure. As you can see, Professor Xavier over here is under quite a lot of pressure. Alright, so pressure is defined as force per unit area. Um, how this relates to chemistry is this. Uh, these air molecules in here are hitting these sides of the containers, and each time it hits the side of the container, it exerts a force. The higher the frequency these molecules hit the container, the greater the force it exerts. So gas particles exert pressure when they collide with the walls of the container. A fuel gas molecule exerts almost no pressure, whereas when you have a mole of gas molecules, it exerts a lot of pressure. How this relates to atmospheric pressure is the same principle, really. Atmospheric pressure is the force per unit area exerted against a surface by the weight of air above that surface in the Earth's atmosphere. So as you're sitting in your room right now, um, atmospheric pressure is pressing down upon you. Your body is made to basically push back. So that's basically how atmospheric pressure works. One of the devices that we actually have in my room is a barometer, which we use to measure atmospheric pressure. Usually barometers are measured in kilopascals. There are different ways that we measure pressure. Kilopascals or pascals, it's, um, that's the SI unit for pressure. Millimeters of mercury is a very old scale in how we measure pressure. We actually used, back in the day, when the first devices was when we used mercury to measure atmospheric pressure. So that's why we still use millimeters of mercury. The guy who invented that is named is Torre Shelley, Italian name, can't pronounce it. But we shortened it Tor. So really, millimeters of mercury and Tor are really the same thing. Pounds per square inch is the American SI, PSI unit that we use here in the United States. And the atmospheric pressure is the pressure that we use around in science. Uh, basically, it is the pressure at sea level. So one atm is defined as the pressure, atmospheric pressure at sea level. And from there, that's our standard for everything else. The conversions are right here, and it's important to know these. So one atm equals 101.3 kilopascals. One atm equals either 760 millimeters of mercury or 760 torr or 1 ATM equals 14.7 PSI. So we're just going to do a few examples on how to convert pressure, and that's it. All right, so here we have our conversion table at the top. Um, convert the following. So we want to three, three ATMs, two millimeters of mercury. Again, we are just going to use dimensional analysis to solve. So if you have three ATM, You're going to multiply times the conversion factor, so that means for every one ATM, remember units have to cancel out, that is 760 millimeters of mercury. And you plug this in the calculator, and you get, right, so you get 2280. Oh millimeters of mercury. There you go. Second example, I'm going from tor to PSI, so if I have 740 tor, if I want to go to PSI, I'm going to multiply times my conversion factor, so for every 760 tor, It's PSI is 14.7. Okay, so you plug this in the calculator and you get you get 14.3 PSI. So conversion, as long as you know the conversion factor, use dimensional analysis. These conversions should be quite easy for you guys. Alright, there you go.